approximately five to six feet long with two distinctive stripes going down their bodies from the base of the head. Hey everyone! <laughs> I didn't even realize it was recording. Um, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be reacting doing Animal Battle Season 1, Episode 7, which is probably going to be the last episode of Season 1, because there are only 14 episodes in the Animal Battle series for this guy that we're watching right now, and I kind of want to follow along with this guy, but, but, shut up, but, let's just do this. And we're doing the polar bear next time. Polar bear versus grizzly brown bear next time. So let's just do that. episode of Animal Battle is going to be a special one, because these two candidates for the title of the best animal in the world aren't just powerful, but are also incredibly smart. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to present to you our two competitors, the Gorilla versus the Orangutan. And stay tuned until the end of the video to find out the winner of the last battle between the Caracal and the Clouded Leopard. Let's do it. I'm Aro and this is Animal Battle. Before we start, I should say that Animal Battle isn't about who is stronger in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Instead, we are going to see which one is hey, wait. one is better, evaluating them based on six different characteristics. Agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill, and survival. Also, you should know that there are two species of gorillas, western and eastern gorillas, and three species of orangutans. Bornean, Sumatran, and Tapanuli. But the species don't differ that much, so we are going to compare gorillas and orangutans in general. Now let's go right to agility. So gorillas can run with a speed of up to 40 km per hour, which is quite decent. But how fast are orangutans? Well, I tried looking it up on the internet, searched in books, went through each word written in ancient manuscripts, and decided to go on a journey of self-discovery. It was there on the top of the highest mountain, but I realized that orangutans don't really walk on the ground and actually spend most of their life in trees. They are very good climbers due to their long and strong arms. They have an arm span of 2 meters, so they mostly travel from tree to tree and travel on the ground only when there is no alternative. Gorillas can also climb trees, although not as good, and, surprisingly, neither gorillas nor orangutans can swim, so let's see their agility stats. They are quite good, especially for such big animals. It's time to go to their attack and defense stats. Since the last episode of Animal Battle, I have realized that it was not necessary to use my detective skills learned as a Russian spy to find out the animal size. Yet I still counted the pixels and approximated that gorillas are about 1.4 to 1.8 meters tall and can weigh around 136 to 195 kilograms. I did the same thing for orangutans and found out that they can be 1.37 meters tall and can weigh around 75 kilograms, which means that they are fairly smaller than gorillas. And of course my calculations match the numbers on Wikipedia, so both of them are vegetarian. Still, gorillas are very powerful. They can lift up to 815 kilograms, which is just impressive. Also, they can easily break banana trees. And if they get to hold a human by his leg, they can pull it around without any effort. And they also have large canines and a powerful bite. But, despite all of those characteristics, gorillas are not very aggressive and attack just when they feel in danger. For protection, and use their fangs only that for intimidation. Orangutans are even less aggressive since they usually eat fruits. But if they need, they can use their powerful arms. As you can see, they are also stronger than a human, even though they are not as heavy. And, as seen in this video, an orangutan can overpower even a sumo wrestler. Orangutans still need to watch out for their predators like tigers, clouded leopards, wild dogs, 
and crocodiles. So that is why they usually spend their time in trees. Gorillas can be hunted by leopards, but a silverback, which is the strongest male, will protect its group even at the cost of its own life. Now, let's see their stats. That is really not true. So their attack stats are quite high, especially for vegetarians. Gorillas are clearly better at attack and defense, being larger and bulkier. But is it possible that intelligence stats will change things around? Let's see. So, because they are primates, intelligence is an important factor. Gorillas are considered highly intelligent. They can use tools in the wild like stones for cracking coconuts or trees to make bridges over rivers.